Now, one of the, the other things that this book is really good at is talking about bad strategy. It's good strategy and bad strategy. And it talks about, the, there's a couple of interesting challenges here. Fluff is one of them. Like when you have a strategy that has a lot of fluff in it, a lot of highfalutin words, a lot of words that seem uh, seem really sophisticated, but don't actually say anything. Uh, that's usually uh, to, basically uh, like to creating the, the illusion of a strategy. If it's something that you struggle to understand when you're reading it, it's probably not a strategy. If it's, if people talk about disintermediation and so on. What are they really meaning here? And when you get down to what they're really meaning, they mean direct relationships with customers. Um, for the, they, they fail to face the challenge. If you haven't actually defined the challenge and you haven't, uh, you can't actually uh, meet that challenge and you're not meeting that specific challenge, then you don't really have a strategy. There's no, there's just, we've got a series of things we're doing and a policy for doing something, but why and what are we trying to achieve by doing it? There's the two, the two that I think are really interesting in this, the bad strategy, are mistaking goals for strategy, merely having goals or merely having an objective like or a roadmap, that's not a strategy, that's, that's a plan. It's helpful, it's not really a plan for overcoming the obstacles because you don't have what the obstacles are or how you're making decisions. No one can assess whether this is a good approach to that particular scenario or not. And then finally, a bad strategic objectives. And I thought the bad strategic objectives were really interesting. This is almost approaching the OKR level, like when, as you get down to um, when you create OKRs or objectives and key results, um, uh, you can often end up in a situation where, or even when people are expressing their strategy frequently enough, it's like a dog's dinner, it's like everything. We would do all of these things. We've got to do all of the things. And yes, that's all of the things you could possibly do to compete. And if you did all of them really, really well, you'd probably win. But you can't do all of them really, really well. And while you're trying to do all of them, someone else is focusing and winning on something. Um, so that's one of the key things. And the second one was blue sky objectives, like objectives that are way too ambitious. Like we're going to be they're too far away from reality. And it's just people can't see a connection. And this is where... Sometimes in OKR OK world, we talk about stretch goals, and it's really helpful. Stretch goals are great and all that, um, but it's really helpful to think about objectives that are that are actually achievable. Like how do I make this credible and actually achievable? So talking about a strategy that you have a plan for.